Are you fascinated by the science behind the materials that make up the world around us? I am Dr. Abdullah, introducing our new course, Materials Engineering. In this introductory lecture, you will get a taste of the diverse and exciting fields of material science and engineering, including polymers, ceramics, composites, science and engineering. You will learn the fundamental principles behind the properties and the behavior of material, and gain hands-on experience with a variety of cutting-edge technologies and techniques. You will blown away by the breadth of knowledge and expertise in the, in the field of materials engineering. The hands-on experience with different materials will be invaluable and you will feel more prepared than ever to pursue a career in this exciting field. Enroll now in our new course, Materials Engineering, and discover the exciting world of material science and engineering. Don't miss on this opportunity to take your passion for science to the next level. Today we will talk about the following outline. The first section of our discussion will cover an introduction to material science and engineering and their history. In the next section we will examine the polymers science and engineering and their history. Thirdly we will talk about ceramic science and engineering and their history. Finally we will talk about composite science and engineering and their history. Our talk will begin with material science and engineering. Welcome to the exciting world of material science and engineering. In this introductory lecture, we will be exploring the field of material science and engineering. What is it, why it is important, and how it impacts our daily life. Material science and engineering is a multidisciplinary field that combines the principle of physics, chemistry, and engineering to study the structure, properties, and applications of materials. The field focuses on the discovery and design of new materials, as well as the development and improvement of existing materials, with the ultimate goal of creating materials that are stronger, more durable, and more functional. The field of material science and engineering is vast, encompassing a wide range of materials including metals, ceramics, polymers, composites, and semiconductors. These materials are used in a variety of applications from aerospace and transportation to electronics and medicine. One of the fundamental principles of material science and engineering is the relationship between a material's structure and its properties. Understanding the structure of a material at the atomic and molecular level is crucial to predict its mechanical, electrical, and chemical properties. By manipulating the structure of a material, scientists and engineers can tailor its properties to suit specific applications. Another important aspect of material science and engineering is the study of materials processing, which involves transfor transforming raw materials into finished products. Product. This can include everything from melting and casting metals to synthesizing polymers and growing crystals. The field of material science and engineering is constantly evolving, with new materials and processing techniques being developed all the time. Some of the, ex uh, of the exciting areas of research in the field include the development of new, lightweight, and high-strength materials, the discovery of new materials for use in energy applications, and the use of nanotechnology to create create new materials with new with unique properties. So why is material science and engineering important? Simply put, it's because materials are the building block of everything around us. They form the basis of our infrastructure, our technology, and our daily lives. By developing new materials and improving existing ones, material science and engineering is helping to drive innovation and create a better future for all of us. Material science and engineering is the study of materials and their properties, structures, processing, and performance. It is a multidisciplinary field that has its root in physics, chemistry, and engineering. The history of material science and engineering can be traced back to ancient civilizations such as the Egyptians, Greek, Romans, who developed technologies for extracting metals and using them to create tools, weapons, and buildings. During the Middle Ages, the craft of metallurgy developed in Europe, leading to the 
the production of high quality steel and iron, the Renaissance saw the birth of modern science, which paved the way for the scientific study of materials. The age of enlightenment in the 18th century saw the development of modern chemistry, which allowed for a more detailed understanding of the composition of materials. The Industrial Revolution in the 19th century was turning point for material science and engineering. It led to the development of new materials such as cast iron, steel, aluminium, which were used to create new te technologies such as the steam engines and the locomotive. The discovery of new materials such as rubber and plastics also revol revolutionized the manufacturing industry. In the 20th century, material science and engineering become a distinct field of study, with the establishment of research institutes and universities dedicated to the study of the materials. The discovery of new materials such as semiconductors and superconductors led to the development of new technologies such as computers and MRI machines. Today, material science and engineering is a rapid, rapidly growing field with a wide range of applications in industries such as aerospace, automotive, energy, and healthcare. Material scientists and engineers are involved in the development of new materials with desirable properties such as strength, durability, and biocompatibility. They are also involved in the development of manufacturing processes that allow for the efficient and cost-effective production of these materials. In conclusion, the history of material science and engineering is a long and fascinating one, dating back to ancient civilizations. Today, it is a vital field that is essential to the development of new technologies and materials that are used in a wide range of applications. Material science and engineering is a fascinating and important field that has the potential to make a significant impact on the world. If you are interested in science, technology, and or engineering, then material science and engineering might be the field for you. I hope this section has given you a greater understanding and appreciation of the history of the field. Thank you for watching. We will now start an introductory section about polymer science and engineering. Welcome to this section on polymer science and engineering. In this section, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of polymers, exploring what they are, how they are made, and some of the incredible ways they are using in our everyday life. To start, let's define what, is, what a polymer is. Put simply, a polymer is a large molecule made up of repeating subunits called monomers. These monomers can be chemically bonded together in a variety of ways to form long chain branches or even network. Polymers can be found in a variety of materials from plastics and rubber to proteins and DNA. Polymers are incredibly versatile and their properties can be tailored to suit a wide range of applications. Engineers and scientists can adjust the chemical makeup of polymers to control characteristics like strength, flexibility, transparency, and more. There, this versatility has made polymers an essential part of modern technology and industry. In the field of polymer science and engineering, researchers study the properties and the behavior of polymers in order to design and create new materials with specific properties. They explore topics like the thermodynamics of polymerization, the mechanical behavior of polymer materials, and the way in which polymers can be processed and fabricated. Some of the most exciting applications of polymers can be found in the field of medicine and biotechnology. For example, polymers can be used to create drug delivery systems, scaffolds for tissue engineering, and even artificial organs. Polymers are also widely used in the production of everyday items like packaging, electronics, and textiles. So whether you are sipping from a plastic water bottle, wearing a pair of synthetic running shoes, or using a medical implant, chances you are interacting with polymers on a daily basis. In the following slides, we will take a journey through time to learn about the development of polymers and how they have become an integral part of our daily life. As we said before, polymers are large molecules made up of repeating units called monomers. The word polymer comes from Greek words poly, meaning many, and miros, mean, meaning bars. The first synthetic poly 
polymer was bakelite, which was created by Belgian chemist Leo Backland in 1907. Bakelite was an early form of plastic and was used to make everything from electrical insulation to telephone handsets. The next major milestone in the history of polymer was the discovery of nylon by Wallace Carothers, a chemist working for Dubon in 1935. Nylon was the first synthetic fiber and it quickly became popular for making stockings and other clothing items. During World War II, polymers played a critical role in the war effort. Scientists worked to develop new polymers to replace natural rubber, which had previously been imported from Asia. They also created new materials for use in military equipment, including synthetic rubber, new brain, and the BVC. In the post-war era, polymers continued to be a driving force in technical development. In the 1950s, scientists developed a polyethylene, which quickly became one of the most widely used blasts. It was used to make everything from milk jugs to grocery bags. Another significant breakthrough in the history of polymers came in 1963, when Carl Ziger and Julio Nata won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their work in developing a new class of polymers known as polyphens. Polyphens include polyethylene and polypropylene and are widely used in a variety of products. In the 1970, a new class of polymers known as engineering plastics was developed. These materials had superior mechanical properties and were used in a variety of applications, including automotive parts and medical devices. Today, polymers continue to be a vital component of our daily life. They are used in everything from food packaging to aerospace technology. Polymers have even been used to create new materials for use in 3D printing. In conclusion, the history of polymer science and engineering is a rich and fascinating one. From the early days of bakelite to the modern era of engineering plastics and 3D printing, polymers have played a critical role in a technology development. As we continue to explore new applications of these versatile materials, we can look forward to even more exciting advancement in the future. Thank you for joining me in this journey through the history of polymers. In the rest of the course lecture, we will explore some of the key concepts and technologies in polymer science and engineering, from the chemistry of polymer synthesis to the ways in which polymers are used to solve real-world problems. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the amazing world of polymers. In this section, we will start talking on ceramic science and engineering. Welcome to this introductory section on ceramic science and engineering. Ceramics are materials that have been used by humans for thousands of years, from ancient pottery to modern engineering applications. Ceramics are inorganic, non-metallic materials that are made from a combination of metallic and non-metallic elements. They are known for their strengths, hardness, and ability to withstand high temperatures, making them ideal for use in a variety of applications. In this section, we will cover the basics of ceramic science and engineering including the types of ceramics, their properties, and applications. We will also discuss the processing and manufacturing techniques used to create ceramics, as well as the challenges associated with the designing and engineering of these materials. To start, let's talk about the different types of ceramics. There are two main categories of ceramics, traditional ceramics and advanced ceramics. Traditional ceramics, as the name suggests, are materials that have been used for thousands of years and include things like pottery and bricks. Advanced ceramics, on the other hand, are more modern materials that are designed for specific applications, such as aerospace and medical implants. Ceramics are known for their unique properties such as their high melting point, hardness, and corrosion resistance. These properties are a result of their atomic structure, which is different from that of metals and polymers. For example, ceramics have a strong covalent bond, which makes them very hard and stiff. One of the most common applications of ceramics is the production of high temperature components such as furnace linings and turbine blades. Ceramics are also used in the 
production of cutting tools, balistic armor, and biomedical implants. Ceramics can be processed in a variety of ways, depending on the material and the desired end product. Some common techniques include powder processing, soil gel processing, and chemical vapor deposition. These methods can be used to create a range of ceramic products from a simple pottery to complex electronic components. Finally, designing and engineering ceramics can be challenging due to their brittleness and sensitivity to defects. To overcome these challenges, researchers are exploring new methods for designing and manufacturing ceramics, such as using additive manufacturing techniques and creating new ceramic composites. Welcome to this section on the history of ceramics, science, and engineering. Ceramics have been a part of human civilization for thousands of years. Years. And today we will delve into the history of journey of this fascinating field. The use of ceramics dates back to the prehistoric times, where our ancestors used clay to create objects such as cooking pots, storage vessels, and figurines. These objects were made using simple techniques such as hand building and coiling, and were fired in an open bonfire or bed kilns. As civilizations Developed, so did the techniques for creating ceramics. In ancient Egypt, pottery was produced on a large scale for daily use and religious purposes. The use of butter's wheel, a significant advancement in the field, was introduced during this time, making the production of ceramics more efficient and precise. The Greeks also made significant contributions to the field of ceramics. They developed the technique of painting on pottery, known as as black figure and red figure pottery, and created ornamental objects such as amphorae and vases, which were used for both practical and decorative purposes. During the Middle Ages, ceramics production in Europe was largely influenced by the Islamic world. The Islamic ceramics were known for their intricate decoration and vibrant colors, and their influence can be seen in the development of tin glass earthware such as the famous Delfware of the Netherlands. The Industrial Revolution of the 18th century brought about a revolution in the ceramics industry. The invention of the steam engine allowed for the construction of large-scale kilns, which enabled the mass production of ceramics. The advent of porcelain, a highly prized and valuable types of ceramics, was also developed during this time. In the 20th century, the development of new materials and technology has led to significant advancements in ceramic science and engineering. The creation of new materials such as silicon carbide and alumina have made ceramics a preferred material in many industries. Ceramics are used in electronics, aerospace, and medical industries due to their unique properties such as high strength, high thermal and chemical resistance, and biocompatibility. In conclusion, ceramic science and engineering is a fascinating field with a long and and rich history. From ancient pottery to modern engineering applications, ceramics have played a critical role in human society for thousands of years. Again, ceramics have played an essential role in human civilization since ancient times. The development of ceramics techniques and technologies has come a long way from hand-built objects to the mass production of ceramics using advanced machinery. The use of ceramics is expected to increase in the future as new and and innovative applications are discovered. We hope this section have given you a taste of what makes ceramics so unique and interesting. And we encourage you to continue exploring this exciting field. We hope also this section have provided you with a brief history of ceramic science and engineering and a glimpse into the exciting future of this field. Thank you for watching. Finally, we will end this lecture with composite science and engineering. Hello and welcome to this section on composite science and engineering. In this video, we will introduce you to the exciting field of composites and explore how they are used in many aspects of our life. Firstly, what are composites? Composites are materials that are made up of two or more constituent materials with different physical and chemical properties, which are combined to create a new material that has properties that are different from the individual materials alone. For example, 
example, a common type of composite material is fiberglass, which is made up of glass fibers embedded in a polymer matrix. The combination of the stiff and the strong glass fibers with the flexible and lightweight polymer matrix results in a material that is stronger and lighter than either of the two individual materials. The field of composite science and engineering involves in understanding how to create and manipulate these new materials to optimize their properties for a wide range of applications. Composites can be tailored to have a specific mechanical, thermal, electrical, and chemical properties, making them useful in many different fields, including aerospace, automotive, marine, construction, sports equipment, and biomedical applications. The use of composites in aerospace, for example, has revolutionized the industry, enabling the development of lighter and more fuel-efficient aircraft. In sports equipment, composites are used to create strong and lightweight materials, resulting in improved performance of athletes. In the biomedical field, composites are used for implants, prosthetics, and other medical devices due to their biocompatibility and ability to mimic natural materials in the body. In this course, we will explore the different types of composite materials, including polymer matrix composites, metal matrix composites, and ceramic matrix composites. We will discuss the manufacturing process used to create composites, such as molding, waving, and laminating. We will also cover the characterization technique used to evaluate the properties of composites, such as mechanical testing, thermal analysis, and microscopy. Welcome to this section on the history of composite science and engineering. Today, we will explore the origins of composites and how they have evolved over time to become an essential part of modern engineering and manufacturing. Composites are materials made from two or more different materials with distinct physical and chemical properties, which are combined to produce a new material with improved properties. The concept of composites can be traced back to ancient times, where early humans used natural composites to create tools and weapons. For example, the use of animal bones as reinforcement for wooden club, or the use of animal sinew as a binding agent for stone tools are examples of early composite materials. Later, humans began using natural fibers such as cotton and wool as reinforcement for pottery and textiles. However, it wasn't until the early 20th century that composites began to be systematically studied and engineered. In the 1920s, researchers began experimenting with the use of fibers as reinforcement in resins and other materials to create new materials with improved mechanical properties. One of the first successful composite was fiberglass, which was invented by Russell Games Slater and uh, Chalmers in 1938. They combined the glass fibers with polyester resin to create a material that was both lightweight and strong. Fiberglass was quickly adopted in a variety of applications, including boat building and aerospace. In the 1950s, composites began to be used in the aerospace industry. In 1955, the first composite helicopter rotor blade was developed, and by the 1960s, composite materials were being used in aircraft structures. The use of composites in aerospace allowed for the development of a stronger, lighter, and more fuel-efficient aircraft. In the 1970s and the 1980s, composites began to, to be used in other industries, such as automotive and construction. The development of advanced composites, such as carbon fiber reinforced polymers, further expanded the range of applications for composites. Carbon fiber reinforced polymers are particularly attractive for their high strength to weight ratio and resistance to corrosion. Today, composites are used in a wide range of industries and applications, including sporting goods, wind turbines, medical devices, and even the construction of buildings and bridges. The development of new composites and the manufacturing process continues to expand the range of potential applications for these materials. In conclusion, composites have a long and rich history with origins dating back to ancient times. The development of modern composites have been driven by advancement in science and engineering, and these materials have become essential in many industries. As technology continues to advance, it is likely that composites will play an even greater role in shaping our world. We hope that this 
lecture will give you a basic understanding of composite science and engineering and the many applications of these materials in our daily lives. Whether you are a student, researcher, or industrial professional, we invite you to join us on this journey of discovery and innovation in the exciting world of composite science and engineering. Thank you for watching.